First news, we just learned the awesome thing Trump did when he quietly slipped away from the press. The fearless leader of America and king of the awkward handshake, President Donald Trump, has defied the normal customary procedure of concluding an overseas trip with a press conference. Trump did something much better. He closed his trip with a visit to soldiers and presented a nice little speech for them instead. Considering this is Memorial Day weekend and we're paying homage to the American troops who've made the ultimate sacrifice for their country, it was only right that Trump spent time with the troops. Some of them have lost great brethren and it's a much better use of time to join those who fight for America instead of giving a lackadaisical speech to a bunch of media maggots at a presser. I think we hit a home run no matter where we are, Trump said as he spoke to members of the military at a naval air station in Sigonella, Italy, celebrating his first trip overseas as president. I can think of no better way to conclude our first foreign trip than to spend the time with you right here. Trump can't figure out how to calm his hair and his handshakes are really strange, but if there's anything I like about him, then it's this. He respects our military and he's loyal to them. Our soldiers aren't used to that. They deserve the best treatment when they go overseas and when they return home. Trump had suggested that his main goal of traveling overseas was to bring the world together in hopes to join forces and fight radical Islamic terrorism together. This is a terror unit who attacks random targets and I really don't know why they do this. I believe they could use their time to build things up, not blow them up, and make the world a better place with the rest of us. We traveled the world to form a partnership among nations devoted to the tasks of eradicating terrorism that plagues our planet, he said. The president recalled the terrorist attacks in Manchester and Egypt that targeted innocent women and children as well as a suicide bombing in Indonesia that killed three police officers. He said that attacks would only steal the resolve of world leaders to fight terrorism. How will Trump form partnerships with liberals like Angela Merkel? She has a haircut worse than Trump and practically fantasizes about Muslim refugees tossing her around like a Vegas escort at a bachelor party. I'm not sure we can partner with someone who, indirectly or directly, seems to actually support the very thing most others are fighting against. She and a few other liberal world leaders are all about the Muslim refugees who are so well known for horrible crimes like gang rape and violent attacks upon innocent citizens of the countries they invade. Refugee units act as a Trojan horse to allow radicalized terrorists to sneak into countries undetected. Did they think people wouldn't notice? Together, civilized nations will crush the terrorists, block their funding, strip them of their territory, and drive them out of this earth, Trump said. The president arrived on the base to a raucous crowd and shouts of USA. USA. USA, as the Air Force One movie soundtrack played in the background. There are two ways to fight this. Blow them up and teach the youngsters how life outside of terrorism is much better, longer, and gives you access to at least 72 women. Most of those women won't be the 72 virgins they are tricked into believing, but if they really want access to women, then it certainly isn't by their current methods. They'll have to drop the terrorist lifestyle and live life as a bachelor. Trump recalled his commitment to a peace through strength foreign policy. That's what we are gonna have. We're gonna have a lot of strength and a lot of peace, he said. Let me guess, Donald, it's going to be Y-U-G-E, right? Well, I would hope so. But there's just one thing about that. Trump could blow up every last terrorist he could find, but there's always more in the making. There's always someone else who hates life so much that they turn to the horrible life of blowing things up. There's always evil in the world to balance out every positive thing there is. Our life, universe, and everything else works in a balance. For every nice thing on this planet, there's an equal amount of evil. The only way to defeat terrorism is to destroy the elders, teach the youth, and hope that providing a life better than running around in the sand with a homemade rocket launcher is enough to convince people to stop blowing things up for no reason. We have to, for lack of better words, re-brainwash the terrorists and have them realize that life is better when you're not a terrorist. Second news, Melania just put Michelle to shame with one message she posted for our nation's heroes. During the Obama administration, there was a tremendous lack of respect for our military men and women. Barack and Michelle Obama even though they said that they respected and appreciated our military it never felt genuine. The reason that it never felt sincere was because of the actions of Barack Obama over the last eight years. For instance, 
During Obama's two disastrous terms as president, he slimmed down our military to pre-World War II levels and allowed the rise of the Islamic State. Then on top of that, his wife Michelle Obama had the audacity to say that her life was harder than a solitaire's life. Here is a bit of a flashback for you from GOP Daily Dose. Unlike Jill, I wasn't a military mom, the first lady said, I didn't know much about the military, and I was probably more like the average American. Michelle described the myriad of meetings she had throughout the campaign with military families. Everywhere we went, I heard the voice of a woman that I hadn't heard before, and it was your voice, the first lady said, and I was just awed and blown away by what I heard through those voices, the challenges you all face. Taking it one step further, Michelle went on to compare her life campaigning with a presidential candidate to that of a military wife. Dealing with everything that I was dealing with a spouse traveling, a job, kids we didn't deal with multiple moves, but I learned about the challenges that happen when you move from base to base to base, Michelle said, the way your kids have to adjust on a dime. And doing it knowing that the person you love is in harm's way. And those stories moved me in a way that I didn't expect. Yet. That is exactly the same as a military family, not. At any rate, President Trump has been in office for less than a year, and he and his wife Melania have shown more respect than the Obamas did in the last eight years. A perfect example of that would be what Melania Trump posted on Facebook that has put the Obamas to shame. On Friday, Melania Trump posted an image that specifically thanked a U.S. Army regiment for helping her and her staff arrive safely to their meetings at the G7 summit in Italy. The post reads, Thank you to the at usermi 214 th Aviation Regiment for getting me and my staff to our MTGS safely today. Now, that is class folks. I mean could you imagine Michelle saying something like that to our military? But, that is not all Melania did to show her appreciation to our brave men and women. Right before the Trumps left for their trip abroad. Melania announced that she would be meeting with the wives and children of U.S. and Allied soldiers during the couple's pass through Italy, according to Newsweek. Here is more from Newsweek. In a statement, Melania Trump said she was looking forward to supporting Donald Trump on his first foreign tour, as well as meeting with the wives and children of U.S. and Allied soldiers. I am very excited for the upcoming trip, she said. This will not just be an opportunity to support my husband as he works on important matters of national security and foreign relations, it will also be my honor to visit and speak with women and children from different countries, with different perspectives. Donald Trump is also scheduled to speak with the American and Allied military members and their families in Sicily, during which National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster said Donald Trump plans to thank them for the sacrifices they all make to keep us safe and he'll also recap the highlights and accomplishments of the trip. But, that is not all Melania has done to show her appreciation for our military. Earlier, this month Melania also invited active duty troops, their spouses, and mothers to the White House for a special Mother's Day event. The president introduced First Lady Melania Trump, who said she was honored by the military members' presence as the nation celebrates National Military Appreciation Month and Mother's Day. As everyone in this room knows, mother is a title that claims your heart and changes your life forever, the first lady said. In fact, it has been said that having a child means allowing your heart to walk around outside of your body. For the mothers of someone who has, or is, serving our country, this must be especially true. Noting that while she, too, is a mother, Melania Trump said she does not know of the many different challenges that come with being the parent of a service member. While you stand with many other parents, so strong and so proud, I am sure that you sometimes march on this journey alone, the First Lady said, adding, while your sons and daughters are away serving so selflessly, having a community share even some of that burden must make all the difference in the world. Melania Trump told the mothers in the audience they are part of a community, and the White House is proud to be a part of it with them. Thank you for all that you do, for your selflessness and for your own sacrifice on behalf of our country she said. Let today's celebration with this community of strong and selfless moms be a first step in building relationships, the first lady said, and in your knowing, that my husband and I, along with, everyone here at the White House, hold you close in their hearts and thoughts each and every day. Here is a video on that occasion. I think it is clear to see how much our first lady loves and supports our brave men and women. Her actions not only are sincere but she it is evident that she is proud to be an American. 
While with Michelle Obama it seemed that she was just playing a role to appease us, and Melania Trump's actions ring true. I am just so proud of our first lady and it is good to finally see someone who is proud of our country again. Share if you love Melania Trump's actions towards our military. The third news, Air Force One arrived while you were asleep and when Melania stepped off the plane the camera caught something incredible. President Trump just returned home from his first trip abroad since being elected as president late last evening. This trip was a home run for the president much to the mainstream media's chagrin wanting it to be a failure. During President Trump's whirlwind trip, he visited Saudi Arabia, Israel, Vatican City, Belgium, and other parts of Italy. What was fantastic about this trip was that Trump was able to solidify himself as a powerful world leader and someone not to push around. Not only was Trump able to introduce himself to the world, he was also able to secure more jobs for America. President Trump tweeted on Saturday that he's bringing hundreds of billions of dollars back to the United States in jobs following his trip abroad. Here is the tweet. However, while the news covered President Trump's meetings there was another breakout star. First Lady Melania Trump became the toast of the town and it was not hard to see why. While the left has done everything they could to put this amazing woman down, the foreign press fell in love with her. From Saudi Arabia to Italy, the First Lady showed her poise and elegance to the world. And, that was even evident when Melania stepped off Air Force One last night after this grueling trip. After traveling all night, Melania Trump stepped off the plane looking fresh-faced and upbeat. I swear does this woman ever look bad. Here are a couple photos of Melania and President Trump disembarking from the plane. While President Trump looks a bit tired, and rightfully so, Melania looks beautiful as ever. Here is more from Daily Mail. President Donald Trump returned home to the White House on Saturday after branding his first international tour through the Middle East and Europe a home run. Trump, wearing a navy suit with a red tie, descended from Air Force One with First Lady Melania Trump who paired a mint green cardigan with cropped white trousers. To the White House, Trump's first trip abroad was an embodiment of the promises he made as a candidate to put America's interests first and break through the guardrails that have long defined U.S. foreign policy. But Trump is returning to simmering investigations into his associates' ties to Russia, which have reached his inner circle after son-in-law and White House adviser Jared Kushner was named a person of interest in an FBI probe. Kushner spoke with Ambassador Sergei Kislyak and proposed a secret back channel between the Kremlin and Trump's transition team during a December meeting, according to a bombshell report in the Washington Post. Gary Cohen, Trump economic aide, said during a press conference in Italy, we're not going to comment on Jared. Upon Trump's return, however, the White House is now trying to contain the scandal by expanding the president's legal team while testing new communications strategies that would advance the administration's agenda while limiting opportunities to be confronted about damaging stories, according to the New York Times. Of course, the left has to focus on this bogus Russian collusion story instead on what is important. The first family just had an amazing trip overseas that really put America right back on top. After years, that having the Obama administration made our country look weak and incompetent we have real leaders again. But, not only that the Trumps have brought back class and elegance back to the White House thanks to Melania Trump. During this trip, Melania showed the world her compassion and the world leaders took notice. One of those touching moments was when the First Lady of Israel gave Melania a touching gift. According to IJR, during the Trump stop in Israel, they met with Israeli President Reuven Ruvi Rivlin and his wife, Nakama. The First Lady of Israel spent time with Melania and gave her a gift. What made that gift special was who it was intended for, Melania's only son, Baron. The gift was a book called The Hug. The First Lady got copies in three different languages, but it's the content of the book that matters. According to descriptions, the book illustrates a mother and son, alone on a walk. Her boy is named Ben. The son is worried that he is alone in the world because he is special, but his mother reassures him with a hug. It is so wonderful to finally have a family in the White House that we all can be proud of. Melania is an amazing woman and mother that is an amazing role model for any young girl. I am so proud of the Trumps and what they were able to accomplish in such a short time, and I can't wait to see what else they will do. Share if you are proud of First Lady Melania Trump.
Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.